Our resident GM, Mike Tannenbaum, joins us now. Mike, small sample size, but what stood out to you when you were evaluating Stroud's performance tonight? Kevin, great to be with you. The speed of the game was just too fast for C.J. Stroud. That's the bad news is, the good news is, that could be game can slow down based on time and experience, but be it the sack or certainly the interception, Kevin, he was just late in decision-making. He was late with his tempo. Even on the sack here, you could just see that he wasn't prepared for these defensive linemen to be on him so quickly. This is very normal for a rookie quarterback, and if you're used to you're fortunate that this happened in a preseason game, not in a regular season game. Yeah, and he acknowledged, you know what, starting out your NFL career on the road against Bill Belichick and New England, not exactly ideal, but kind of a welcome to the NFL moment. So, Mike, we've evaluated him tonight, and he's been on that tablet reliving every play like Costner and JFK. What's tomorrow and the next day going to be like for C.J. Stroud? Kevin, let me tell you a story. When you ask Coach Bill Parcells, when did he know that Phil Simms was the guy? And he talked about, not after a win, but after a four-interception loss, that in the ensuing practice, when Phil Simms got in the huddle, the other 10 teammates believed that Phil Simms could take them where they wanted to go, which is to win a Super Bowl, which is what he ultimately did. And that's exactly what C.J. Stroud has to do. The next time he gets into a huddle, his teammates have to believe that C.J. Stroud could take them to where they want to go and that this was just a bump in the road. And C.J. Stroud has the ability and the character to do so. So he has to basically eat this experience, learn from it, and then be the hardest working guy in the building and earn the trust and confidence of his teammates and coaches. All part of the learning curve for the number two overall pick in the draft. Stroud and the Texans going to be back in action a week from Saturday against Miami. Mike Tannenbaum, many thanks tonight. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.